Ah, low, low. Uh, something a bit different in this one. I'm going to be chopping up two builds in this video instead of one. The first is going to be my new Cyclone Nova Spider, which is really quite like. And the other one's just going to be the updated Reaper. I had a couple of people asking about them, so I figured I might as well just chuck them in the same video. It's just easier. Same format as rest. I'll just go through the build and nice and slow and talk about shit. Yeah, I'll start with Cyclone first. Like a yard at the front, like it's kind of light, but takes up big areas, so it's always nice. How much is it worth? Only 160. Yeah, this is one's on a Nova card, so most of the stuff's gonna be light frames. Only six legs on and over uh, instead of eight more on a bastion just because of the weight issue. Uh, you can chuck eight on and over, but I don't mind if use for mass, so it's a bit of an issue. To be fair though, you have the shield at the front and an overcap, so you tend not to lose legs too much, plus it's a peekaboo type of build, so yeah, it's not the only four legs at the front isn't much of an issue. It lasts quite a bit. Buggy full mounted to the Apollo and the uh, radiator, that's nice. The frames here, those are for the mountains of the guns, as you can see, and also the bumper in front. It's really nice, you tend not to lose them, and the guns stay on for quite a while. Uh, the position of these two side guns are really right because they tend not go off too much. They're really hard to sh shoot off, to be honest, considering this a cyclone build. The one at the top is a bit of personal preference about where you mount it. You can mount it further forward if you want. And if you do, you're going to have better firing angles downward. But then if you do move it further forward, it's going to be more exposed. So I prefer the to there. That's my sweet spot, but you can change that as you like. But yeah, in terms of survivability, the guns actually stay on quite well. Considering cyclones are pretty common, you know, if you get shot off all the bloody times. The Nova Cap helps most of the battle. Hot red, got it, obviously got run hot red. Armor pieces, what is that then? As I've said before, I'm not too good with spaced armor, so you guys could probably do a better yourselves. In terms of the gun placement and the frames, it's actually a pretty nice build. I like these pieces better, they help protect the guns a bit, they don't mess with the firing angle too much, it's pretty nice. Scorer as well, that helps with uh, protecting guns as much as you can. There's only so much you can do with Cyclones to armor them without screwing with the firing angles. Which is why I got the um, one Cyclone at the top. I did try mounting it underneath at first, but it's just too difficult. It gets obstructed all the damn time. And the problem with the Cyclone is you need to keep the rate to fire up obviously so it can't really be interrupted if you want to get any real DPS out of the thing you can't afford for it to be clipping all the time. Bumper is in front, mounted to the frames, this is a nice touch. You can actually chuck the um I forget what it called, but it's the Dawn's Children bumper, which is slightly heavier but for mass I think this is pretty nice. It's got a one to one ratio so helps the guns as much as it can.
gun on spray, I like this. I just, I'm doing this with all my builds at the moment. Putting them a good distance to the side of each gun. That helps protect the uh, side armor, but also if someone shoots, obviously the explosive damage gets eaten up on the bullet and it goes through. It's a nice touch. You're always going to want to put gun on spray on most of the builds. At least I have heard. So it's pretty solid. Yep, and that's the Cyclone build. It's, yeah, it's honestly it's really good. The side guns especially, really hard to take them off. You, you can take this up against, it's better against spider matter. You're going to want to run this against other spiders, against hovers and whatnot, it doesn't do too well. Just because it's, it's a Cyclone gun. But if someone's using a lot of Nova Spiders and even Bastions, which they are at the moment, this is actually really good for dealing with them. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this build at the moment, so you should probably use it if you can. Other Cyclone builds, they will have all of the guns mounted basically right next to each other, so they like one, two, three, and that's just asking to get them shot off. Because the problem is they'll all shoot at one gun and miss, and then they'll hit the other. But with this one, if you're gonna hit, there's not really a chance if you shoot at this and then hit it now, for example. It's not gonna happen. And to even hit that is actually surprisingly difficult, especially these. The Nova Cab and whatnot. It's, it's solid, honestly. Just, if you got Cyclones, you probably give this a try against other spiders. You can sit back and keep kiting, and it's seriously good DPS on it, especially from range. Like, strong range DPS is pretty nice. That's the cyclone done. Uh, let's move on to Reaper, 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 Reaper. All right, sorry for rushing through this. Food's almost done. I'm starving. Right, it's mostly the same with my old Reaper build, but just a few touches. Nothing too drastic. A couple of people asking for the updates. I figured I'd just make a chuck it on the end of this video. Again, light frames, you don't need heavy in my experience. Basically same thing here as I've done with my um, Mastodon with 1x8. I, I really like that. Tucking the legs in. I've gone with a heavy 4x4 at the back, just for added, added security. You really don't want this piece coming off obviously, because then you're losing both back legs. Mountains on this just in case, which I'm a big fan of. Right there. Also, the screeners is a really nice touch. You chuck them um, right there, and it's mostly to help against breakers and whatnot. Say the breakers down here and he's shooting up, there's a good chance that's going to eat some damage, which is really nice. 
That would actually wasn't my original idea. That was rapid. If I saw one of Nico's streams and then rapid had a gun for screen over there, which is really nice. That's why I took out a rapid essentially. It's a really good idea. Keep them mounted there and protect as much as guns as you can. Hot red, obviously. Doppler, Capcan. Tweak the side armor a bit and this protect the guns as well as much as you can. It doesn't interrupt the firing and it protects the uh, plow a bit. Just to eat up as many hit points as you can before the gun actually gets taken off. Against breakers and tacklers and whatnot. It, it's a little bit of help but it goes a long way. Same this side. I think it's quite a lot of armor in the build. Even with hot red, you can get 3700 out of this build with hot red, which is pretty insane. All you need is a fuse pasture. Two armor packs, as you can see. If that gets blown off, it damages the cap but it doesn't kill it, same as the last. This is actually the biggest change. I got that idea from Rapid, but I did take it one step further and put the cap onto it. So the gun mount is actually protected to, by, um, attached to the screen as well as side armor, which is nice, it really fits in well. And the same principle, basically, if someone's shooting here, the explosion damage will get eaten up and only the bullet damage will go through. So it's really nice fit. And it's attached to the screen, so. As you can see, the guns are pretty well protected in this build. Even if it sounds like a tackler, it'll stay on a decent chunk. Not too long, because the tacklers are insane, but it'll help. Am I done? Yeah, see, 3700 health with a hot red does pretty solid. This thing can take so many hits. Yeah, in terms of. I would say easy to use builds, easy to use builds. This is the first one I would go to if I was playing Clan Wars. This build is real fucking easy to use and you can go a long way with it. Against dogs it is pretty strong, it's pretty hard to go wrong. You would have to be a pretty bad spider player to lose it to a dog in this thing, it's so good. And deep Cloak is so much damage, it stays alive forever. It stays alive forever. Uh, in terms of like a first build in Clan Wars, if I was saving up for one, it'd probably be this. Because it's Reapers are relatively cheap and common, Bastion's relatively cheap. Eight Bygrams, yeah, it'll, this will go a long way. Like four of these in a team will probably get top 30, no problem. Just walk towards the enemy and hope for the best. But it'll work. It takes so much damage. But yeah, that's the builds. And... Uh, Hope they help. I had a couple of, like I said, I had a couple of guys asking for the builds and I thought I might as well chuck them up, screw it. It's not that important at the end of the day. It's not a state secret or anything. So yeah, thanks for watching.